Howdy folks, welcome to Weed and Whiskey News. I'm your plain talking, straight shooting host, J-Man, and I'm excited to have in the studio my good friend Dalton O'Neill. We've got my two grams about bogus packaging on edibles, and we pulled from our archives a pun by Ray Lynn Nelson that will make you smile. We'll be right back after a quick message from our great sponsors. Howdy, howdy, howdy folks. Welcome to Weed and Whiskey News. I'm your host, J-Man. I got a bunch of stocks, pot stocks, regular stocks. They've been all suffering. But in fact, it was them making marijuana illegal that created the crime. <laughs> it is a safer, often more effective, and far fewer side effect treatment option. Pothead, he is also a co-star in there. You'll see him all the time, every time. <laughs> he brought me my breakfast this morning. It was a Delta 9, 420 milligram pumpkin spice rice crispy, rice crispy treat. I am not from this world, but this guitar is. You will be able to win this guitar for Christmas. Drink a bowl of light. Buzz me up. Ask for it at your favorite convenience store. Some things are better hard. It's Britt Lightning, Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp's musical director. I'm here with Miles Schumann, who's been around the camp his whole life, and of course with the founder of Rock Camp and storyteller extraordinaire David Fishoff. And we're thrilled to launch Rock Camp, the podcast, the official podcast of Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp. You've heard about the camp on The Simpsons, Billions, and even from Rock Camp, the movie. But finally, we're unlocking the camp's vault of content in podcast form. Imagine unheard stories and interviews from the biggest names in rock. I pushed Levi and uh, he pushed me back and then I think I started going for a knife or something anyway. And come behind the scenes as you hear stories from the road and the camp's history that'll leave you wanting more. It was the hardest I ever worked in one day of my life. You'll meet legends and dreamers alike, people who have lived their rock fantasies and those who made them come true. And it's not just about the glamour. We're bringing you the good, the bad, and the ugly of rock and roll. By the way, I was traumatized by his relationship with my brother, okay? When you follow and listen to the podcast, we'll be giving away some unique rock memorabilia and experiences. Keep an eye on rockcamp.com to find out more. Wherever you listen to great podcasts, you'll find Rock Camp, the podcast. It's better than a backstage pass. Brought to you by Pantheon Podcasts. Welcome back, partakers. Here's my two grams about bogus packaging that's in, in the news a whole lot lately. Well, folks, I'm sure everybody has seen either on the newspaper or on TV packages of Doritos and Oreos and Cheetos and Nerds looks exactly like the real brand's packaging for non-infused products. Folks, this is wrong. None of these people have licensed. So be very cautious. Somebody says, hey, man, try these infused Doritos. Even if it's in the store, buy these infused Doritos. Oh, J-Man says, eh, put the brakes on. Doritos ain't selling that yet, okay? You know, so you have to be cautious because there's bad actors out there uh, and it's causing a lot of problems. It's making our industry look bad and they're violating uh, these people's copyrights and trademarks on their products. Now, it's not just in the weed world either, folks. I was looking this up. I thought the Secret Service, like the people deal with counterfeit money, are the ones that take care of this. No, it's Customs and Border Patrol. That's actually who deals with counterfeit goods now. Do you know what's just as bad as these Dorito bags with THC in them that aren't good products? Counterfeit contact lenses. I had no idea. Millions and millions of dollars of contact lenses that people buy may be counterfeit. And they're putting it in their eye. Holy moly, we got this darn thing coming up that we, people are going to be looking at the, uh, at the solar eclipse. Make sure them glasses are good glasses. Don't buy products that don't make any sense. Doritos, Cheetos, they don't have infused products. That's my two grams. I'll quit rambling. Stay tuned.
the official venue for the 2024 Texas Cannabis Roundup. Hi there, I'm Travis Dunn, and I'll be bringing you the random news every week. Random news throughout the world that the mainstream media wouldn't touch with a 25-foot pole. Now it's time for a snack. Coming soon to Weed and Whiskey TV. Hello, my name is Antonio Swad. And I'm J-Man. We're the proud founders of Buzz Brands, a range of products specifically designed for your convenience store customers. As agents of change, we are committed to creating products that are not only safe and effective, but also offer tremendous value to the customers visiting your stores. Our model is a game changer. Your customers can double their money with our products, and at the same time, it allows for a nice profit margin for you, the wagon jobber. In 2023 alone, our low price point has driven repeat sales in hundreds of independent convenience stores across multiple states. Join us in this profitable journey. Make money with us and make money for your customers. Contact us today to discover more about Buzz brand of products. It's time to elevate your convenience store game. Welcome back, partakers. I pulled my glasses off because I don't need the prompter to talk about this gentleman that I've got in the studio, Dalton O'Neill. He's my guy. Dalton, how you doing, buddy? J-Man, happy to be back on Weed and, Weed and Whiskey TV, man. Yeah, it's been a little bit. You've been busy. We've been busy running around. Ooh. Q1 2024, it's a good time. Yeah, man. It's, it's the whole first part of 2024 has just blown by so fast. We've had luck. We've had South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. But we got August to look forward to coming up. Got your right? birthday coming up. Got, oh yeah, folks, we got 420. We'll be talking about that a little later on. Uh, some things will be happening with that. But uh, true. Uh, if you'll notice, we got up here on the screen, Texas Cannabis Roundup. Texas Cannabis Roundup, baby. Right it's around be the good. corner. It is. It is. It's coming in quick. August 1st. Yeah, three uh, months. I mean, three we're months. three months away. So, folks, you got to start getting your tickets now. If you're coming from out of town, get your hotel room. Dalton, do we have anything set up over at... Um, uh, our, our hotel there that we, got, we like so the, much. Yeah, so. the, the Texkins actually got some other events going on as well, so it won't just be us there, but we have right. a group staying at the Texkin, and we got a group staying at the Omni Las Colinas. All right. So I uh, checked the right. website for the, the room block and the discount yeah. codes and yeah. everything. Yeah, so tickets are now available. People tickets can go, are available. You can buy a ticket. You exactly. can buy a VIP ticket. Exactly. You could maybe even still be a sponsor. Absolutely. You know, there's a few slots that are still left, That's little true. things here and there. You that's know. true. Speaking of sponsors, let's talk a little bit about somebody that's dear to me and Antonio's heart for our Buckle Buzz there play. Because, you know, we tried, me and Randy, my IT guy, we tried to set up our own little website and our own little e-commerce thing. And, nope, you can't do that. You know, and so we went with these other people, mm -hmm. went up another level. No, nope, you can't do that. You can't do it. So we went with somebody says, we can help you do this. And lo and behold, We've got a functioning e-commerce website where you can use your credit card, your debit card. It was quick. You can buy these buck of buzz. You can buy these buzz me ups, these buck of buzz. And their name is? Flex Payment Solutions. They're our exclusive credit card payment processor for the roundup. We've only done one exclusive deal so far. And truthfully, we don't love doing the exclusive deals because there's at the roundup, we're rounding up brands from all different parts of the supply chain. So... To make somebody an exclusive, we limit other people's activity. We don't love to do it, but with Flex Payment, it made total sense. They've consolidated great business. They take care of all of our friends. And uh, they're the official credit card payment processor for the Texas Cannabis Roundup. Yeah, you know, and, and as Dalton said, exclusivity sometimes, you know, that's a way to charge somebody a whole lot more. And sometimes it doesn't give the audience, the people that are coming right. there, what they the need, opportunity you know? to get what we what, right. what's needed. Right. But you were smart, I think, in saying, hey, you know what? You guys are in a niche that's mm -hmm. so important, and so many of us already are using them. Right. We're using them. Right. We learned them from Canasite, right. uh, people that built our website. Uh, and, and Matt, the sales guy that works with us, super, super great, great guy. Great so guy. Great really, guy. really glad to have them Fun there. stuff. You know, uh, well, here's another brand that's going to be there, one of the sponsors. Buzz and me we're up. a drink, buzz me up. We're a gummy. Well, we, well, we want exclusivity in both. Well, you know what? If you do that, now you've limited everybody there yeah. to just trying our product. We want them to try our products. Right. Don't get me wrong. We want them to try our products besides other people's right. products and see which one they like more. Right. We're real into that, you know. So we're happy to have our gummies there mm -hmm. as a sponsor. We're happy to have our Buzz Me Up drinks here as a sponsor. Maybe something else we might not talk about now. You never yeah, we know. Want to, we'll hold that. we got to, we got to take a quick break. We'll be right back and give you some more info about what all's going on at the 2024 Texas Cannabis Roundup. Stay tuned.
Welcome back, Partakers. We're here with Dalton O'Neill talking about the 2024 Texas Cannabis Roundup. It's going to be August the 1st at the Longhorn Ice House. Longhorn Ice House. We were there last year. We were there last year. In part of the facility. Now we have the whole facility. Oh, yeah, Dalton, yeah, yeah. we got the It's a private whole, event. It's a private event. got the event. inside. got the outside. We do. It's we'll have fun. huge inflatable cans outside uh, for the buzz me up. I mean, this is going to be it's, a... It's going to uh, be a spectacle. It's going to be It's going to be something. You know, if you were there last year and you saw the energy and the camaraderie and all that, you know you're going to come back this year. Man, it's got a whole different vibe this year. And we're going to show you some things here in a few minutes that Mason Espadal did for Dalton, a young uh, guy that Dalton's alma mater produced. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I hadn't produced that. I don't think he's graduated yet. No, he's graduated, no, he's yet, graduated you know? in May. He'll so, be graduated yeah, by yeah. the time we do the do the roundup. And he's a little bit older, so he's you know he's old enough to partake in there everything. There we go. But, uh, but when we get back on old Matt at uh, Flex Payment Solutions, mm -hmm. he's our sales rep. You get all this guy, he'll help you out. I give you his last name. It starts with a B, but old J-Man, sometimes he can't pronounce things right so instead of that matt we're gonna put your name here in the lower thirds on the show right, right? and that way people know how to get a hold of you uh i'll always give a good testimony of how quickly you were able to help us navigate that and make it easy from something that was really pulling our hair well antonio i don't have any hair but randy our it guy was pulling his hair out y'all were been in a hurry on yeah, that too yeah. getting it figured out and, and it's exciting because of them having the exclusivity for the roundup it's great that the majority of the people there that have e-commerce are probably already right, using these right. guys and if, and if they're know. not doing e-commerce yet they need to yeah. and that's is part of one yeah. of the big solutions there yeah. yeah yeah so super great guys folks we highly recommend them highly Hi <laughs> highly recommend them Okay, so uh, we're going to pop up here on the screen right now. You're going to see a bunch of uh, images of the collateral package that Dalton worked with Mason on doing. Dalton gave him the idea and directions. This is what I want to have, and uh, I, I want to elevate the look. It, you'll see this now. Talk about them, Dalton. It's good. It's good. Uh, you know, really, Mason's a super high, highly professional, and uh, I've got some creative direction, but I don't know how to get things done on the computer like that. Uh, well, our AI friends are helping us now out with there it. There we go, yeah. And uh, it's just we want to bring a more broad event uh, deliverables for our sponsors, make it more professional. If you've been the last three years, it's kind of Austin Z calls it a family reunion. It's just a big, uh, you know, hoot name. We're yeah, coming yeah, out. We're well, just, you know, yeah, you, you, we, we see the diversity of people right of ages of right. genders of races i mean everybody's you know, there everybody's yeah everybody's there, there. Yeah. And we're all getting everybody's along there. having a great yeah. time our yeah. guys yeah. canna bros are there yeah i think yeah. they're trying to see if they can get a sponsorship to come back we need them. there's yeah. a little plug for you so you there better get go. back you know uh so we you know them. this thing's driven by sponsors being able to get mm -hmm. exposure and one of the things dalton has done this year is try to get his sponsors more exposure than just mm -hmm. at the event, like right. we're doing right now for right. Flex, like Year we just round. did for Buzz, right. be up, like we're doing for Buck of Buzz, and like we're doing for you once you get on board and get past your verbal commitment and go. send that deposit. And past yeah. our vetting process. Yeah, that's right. That's we right. We're want, vetting this year we, that we didn't do in the past. We, we, so We don't just want everybody. I mean, we want we want everybody that has a good, innovative brand, but as we talked about the exclusivity, when, when somebody that doesn't know the industry comes in, we want them to see a variety of different products, a variety of different services, a variety of different lawyers, a variety of different things and uh that's really what we're on pace to do this year and making the logos and and the branding packages more elevated just makes us more legitimate as a whole well you as, you, as you can see from those images from the hats from the the wristbands uh, uh the ticketing uh all the collateral mm -hmm. material that uh, mason's put together dalton's really elevated uh this uh, uh this event the perception sometimes is all in what you're getting from mm -hmm. these collateral materials and i told dalton earlier today dude Pat yourself on the back for putting this together. This looks like this doesn't look uh, like uh, a, a small event. This looks like something that Art Basel would put. I told him Tesla looked like yeah. a Tesla event with all the different components that he has. Funny. Now he may not be able to use everything that we have here, but uh, he's trying to work all these things in, and there'll be okay. things this year that they can they can get. We've got a limited 100%. edition poster 100%. this year. That, you said uh, you, your child's still trying to get a, a, a sticker for me. Yeah. You said yep. you said yep. hey, I'd wear this pin if I had. I hadn't got it for you yet. Yep. Yep. So, so you know, uh, having the whole facility right. is really going to change up this, Dalton. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Instead of working up, we're working backwards. We had 306 people there last year confirmed. That's how many, uh, you know, tickets we saw through and people. I mean, maybe there were people that, you know, weren't there, but it came to hang out with us sure, after. Sure, sure. And uh, the facility holds 800, and that's really what we're going for. Yeah. I'm telling people we're going to double it. That's kind of what I'm, like, guaranteeing in a way. 
uh, not formally, but I think we're at least going to have 600 people there, yeah, well, at least. I, I, no, at I, think, least. I think we'll get our 800. I no, think we'll I, get our 800, I, too. I think we'll have to turn a few people I, away because, yeah. you know, so many people that were there last year that gonna weren't part of the roundup right. didn't even know what was going on. Right. Wanted to, to, right. to, 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 and not just to get the food that Dalton's providing. You get to eat <laughs> some. It wasn't yeah. just for the food or yeah. a, a drink ticket. They were genuinely the interested and yeah. curious about what's well, going on. Well, this year when we have the uh, Buzz Me Up um, uh, inflatables outside, when we got the big uh, Tejas Tonic truck out there again, anybody that has a cool car or activation, anybody driving down Northwest Highway on Thursday, August 1st is going to see it. Be like, what the heck's going on over here? So I even expect some of that type of foot traffic. Again, it's a closed event. We'll have tickets at the door if there are still some available. Um, maybe not. Yeah, maybe, I, I'm thinking maybe, maybe you know, I, I mean, you got to put it out there in the universe, folks. Yeah. If you don't get you a ticket, it's kind of like, look, we want – the Texas Cannabis Roundup to follow Luck's mm -hmm. kind of philosophy. It's a good playbook hey, here. You know, the Luck is sold out for 2025. We just had it two weeks ago, yeah. three weeks. It was the, the, the 15th of, uh, 14th of March, right? And uh, sold out. And, and it sold out. Well, who's playing? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who's going to be there? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much is the donation to eat at the, yeah. at the, at the banquet? Don't know that Don't yet. Know. And it's doubled each year, yeah. you know. And, and I, I saw a movie, uh, uh, Willie and Me, the, Me and Willie. It's a okay. movie that's yeah. uh, streaming on Paramount right now. And there's a part about the, the ticket scalping thing. It's supposed to be Willie's last concert. There's yeah. a storyline in the movie. And it was, it was like 3000 for a ticket. Three, how could you ask? That's outrageous. Well, we can ask that because, you know, uh, people willing to pay that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. how much longer are you going to get to see Willie? Yeah. You know, well, yeah. you'll get to see me and Dalton for a long time at the Texas Cannabis Roundup. We exactly. got a lot more years left, so we won't be uh, fading off any. We're just getting started. We're just getting started on the soon. Roundup. But, you know, uh, if you think about that, when Willie, 48 years ago, started the 4th of July picnic, which is not in Texas this year. They've moved that to New Jersey. Really? The Texas Cannabis Roundup will always be in Texas. That is true. May not always be in Dallas, no. but it'll always, it'll be, always in be in Texas. Yeah. It'll always be yeah. in Texas. It'll always be in Texas. Exactly. So, uh, folks, we're going to take another quick break. We'll be right back, learning more about what's going on, and we'll find out. Dalton, you give us an update on what happened at South By. Some things. It was a great time. Stay tuned, folks. Be right back. Ever wonder what happens behind the scenes at She's a Good Girl? Well, it's time to find out. Because Barbie Quinn is ready to play. So follow me now onto Weed and Whiskey TV. Are you ready, good girls? Barbie Quinn here. Catch me soon on Weed and Whiskey TV. Drink a bottle of light. Buzz me up. Ask for it at your favorite convenience store. Some things are better hard. Thanks for staying with us, partakers. We got a few more minutes. Dalton, share with us a little bit about what went on uh, at South by Southwest. You were involved in several different things down there. Uh, uh, as they say, South by Southwest is a marathon, not a sprint. So you can't go hard, uh, too hard the first day, which uh, we didn't trust our own advice there. So it was a long week. But, you know, there's multiple facets of the South by. You have the conference itself. You have official events. You have unofficial events. And this year, something we learned is that instead of having a cannabis-specific track, they've put, uh, and by they, the conference organizers, have put cannabis and hemp inside of a greater psychedelics track. So they're at a lot of esteemed speakers. Rick Doblin was probably the highlight of my, of my, of my entire week meeting that man face-to-face. -face. He started MAPS, which is a huge, large, they host the largest psychedelic conference in Denver each year. And uh, talking about all different different kinds of psychedelic medicine. And uh, I know some of them are man-made, some of them are, are, are natural, but we heard from uh, Dr. Sue Sisley, who's got the only organic psilocybin mushroom permit in the country. And the, the strain of the mushroom is called Jedi Mindfuck. So when she turns in the paperwork to like the DEA every year, <laughs> it says Jedi, Jedi Mindfuck. Mind yeah. So uh, um, uh, lawyer Sean Hauser was on that panel as well with Dr. Seuss. Well, Sean and them had an activation down there, didn't they? they had did. a party? Or? They did. That was, uh, that was um, Friday night, and it was their opening day party. Grasslands, um, a, a journalism agency, and, uh, and Vicente Cedarberg, they had a joint party. Great people there. Caught up with a lot of Texas people. That was fun. Um, Again, Rick Doblin, the MDMA, there was a, a professor from UT talking about MDMA saving relationships and stuff, and that's fascinating. And again, I know all these things aren't plant medicine, but South By has really embraced 
psychedelic research, leading with truth, leading with evidence-based studies. There's none of this, um, you know, fake, fake stuff down there. They're leading with, with head researchers, case studies, uh, law enforcement, um, uh, veterans. There was a lot of stuff down there. So that was the official panels. I was involved in a couple of um, official events that I that my clients uh, hired me to do and help facilitate. Those are always fun. Sure. Um, the Electric Shuffle is a great venue to do, whether you're in Deep Ellum or whether you're in Austin on Rainy Street. Rainy Street came back. Paramount Plus was also a big sponsor of, of that. And then some unofficial events. And that's where a lot of the really fun stuff happens. There was a couple unofficial cannabis events that happened. Um, the Cheech and Chong party was great. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, uh, uh, let's go back about the uh, the psilocybin and the, and the yeah. mushrooms, mm -hmm. Dalton. Um, I saw or read uh, that the medicinal aspects of this is going to far outweigh what we've learned from cannabis, which we've learned, folks, so much about the different strains of the THC and the CBDs and all these things. Mm -hmm. You know, who would have ever thought THCV would make people not get the munchies? Okay. I thought people smoke weed to get the munchies, right? So as scientists are studying this because we've relaxed right. the, the, the going to jail for doing something, yeah. right? You know, just think if they just make it legal, yeah. how much more we would learn. Go but on. our veterans and the psilocybin for yeah. PTSD and anxiety and depression, all these things is really showing a lot of promise with real true empirical evidence right. from right. real researchers, right. not a guy in the backyard with a, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, a saying, bathtub and a exactly. trailer park thing. It's not a breaking yeah. bad thing. The most evidence-based uh, panel that I went to, that I made sure to get to, I only stayed like eight minutes and took some pictures because it's, again, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You can't hang out over for an hour, but it's about uh, mapping, uh, neurological mapping your head on these uh, substances and psilocybin was one of them that they match it, matched. And, you know, if you're looking at your brain while you're sleeping, it's, you know, just hanging out. You jack it up on some psilocybin, parts of your brain are connecting that have never been connected before. So when you're talking about the healing depression or healing PTSD, you don't understand. There's, you know, they all, they say, oh, you only use three or 4% of your brain. Well, when you're on these, uh, they call them hero doses as well. When you see parts of your brain lighting up, connecting that have never been connected, it makes sense out the, the way the panelist said, you're paving a new road in your brain. So your brain has, has grown up with you. It's, it's hard headed. And uh, there's only certain connections, but when you do these uh, uh, psychedelic substances and other things, it's connecting parts of your brain that have been connected before. And the neurological mapping shows that, like on the yeah. screen. It's yeah. like whether or not there's an anecdotal evidence, empirical, whatever you want to say, but what we do know is like that shit on the screen is connecting to each other. Something's happening up there. Right. And right. it's not just you're feeling it. It's not just you feel it. You can see vividly like neurological transmissions. And uh, again, I'm not a scientist, I'm a party promoter, but it's just amazing <laughs> to hear these people. It's like, hell yeah, you keep telling them. Cause I know when I, I tried these micro dosing of the mushrooms that something was happening yeah. and now you can kind of lean on the research. Well, folks, you've heard me mention about doing the micro dosing up to a point that I had a little bit of trip, but it eliminated my cluster headaches mm -hmm. that I was having mm -hmm. and still haven't had any of them. Right, right, Dalton, right. I'm, uh, I, can I ask a favor? You, you're my good friend. There we go. Find us a mushroom expert. Okay. You know, we're weed yeah. and whiskey, yeah, we but you know that. what? A lot of our partakers we probably are curious about this. We can do that. Folks, we'll bring you that real soon. Donald, yeah, thanks for coming talking about the we'll Roundup. And uh, thanks for sharing your remarkable journey yeah. and insight with our partakers today. Uh, thank you, uh, folks, for staying tuned with us each week and, and watching and uh, growing our tribe. Coming up next week, we have a special for everyone to enjoy. Don't miss it. Uh, please visit my website, imjman.com, to listen to my radio interviews, coast to coast. Let me help you get your brand noticed, remembered, and engaged. Stay tuned with us for Pun from Ray Lynn Nelson to close out the show. Have a great weekend. Yeah. If you guys can come get it, you can have it. Free of charge. Ray Lynn Nelson. Organ donor. Weed and Whiskey News. News with a twist.